Hi Aquarius, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Today's reading is a general reading. If you are new here, welcome. I post new readings on Friday and again on Monday. So if reading doesn't resonate, come back in a couple of days. Fridays are always a general reading. Mondays are something different every week. So one week it might be a more detailed Celtic cross style reading. I do a love reading on Mondays. Um, I also did a couple weeks ago a four-month predictive reading for the months of May through August, if you haven't seen that. So if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right, what advice do you have for Aquarius? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Aquarius need to know, please? For the best and highest good of all concern with Aquarius. Messages for Aquarius, please. All right, we'll start here with the tarot and then we'll have the angel answers. You've got the Six of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles, the Tower has been coming out a lot, the Magician, the King of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles. This I like the star so much. And you've got the Four of Pentacles. Now the star in order comes right after the Tower, okay? That's why I gave a slight pause. And it's also Aquarius energy. But, I mean, that really is alignment when we have 78 cards here. Okay, if you had something that, you know, there was some big change, some big shakeup, that's all about a new beginning when you start to see this together. I mean, this is fabulous energy. Even if it's in a current relationship, okay, where there's been some challenges, it's like a breakdown for a breakthrough when you're getting this stuff together. So you have here... Um, earth, quite a bit of earth here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, air, and then of course the, the three major arcana that we just touched on. Well, again, we love the six of swords. I think I mentioned this before in the, the little like pamphlet that comes with the Rider Waite deck. I haven't looked at that in probably 30 years, but what I do remember is when I got my first deck, I was about 17 years old. And I do remember seeing that it said, aren't you lucky if you get this card? I mean, this was before there was like a lot of tarot information out there. And so this is a card of travel, but it's also really about moving forward emotionally. So if something's been tumultuous, I do get that for somebody where they've had some challenges in a relationship, but I feel like you're going to understand each other better as a result. It's going to be one of those things where you look back, especially if it's a marriage and it's one of those things where you're in therapy or something like that. Whatever it is, there's going to be healing and renewal with this. Now, others of you, because you have great aspects for money here. Okay, you've got a very solid money reading. And so if you've had some financial challenges, even I get somebody like where they didn't have enough food. I mean, it was get, getting pretty bad. It was getting pretty serious. I do feel like you are going to be bringing in more money. Some of you are going to have more job opportunities. And I feel like it's going to be something where you can decide. You're not having to work yourself into the ground. But it'll be one of those things where you get to decide almost like an Uber schedule or something like that where it's an extra thing. You decide if you want to do it or not. So it's not going to be... I even hear passive income. They keep saying passive income. So somebody has an idea for that. They're talking to you. Well, with the seven of pentacles, sevens are successful conclusions. So you may have had a weight coming here, but money does grow on trees in the tarot. And so I do feel like you're going to start to see increments of money. I also feel like somebody may have some kind of a card. It's like almost like a gift card, or it may even be from your government where you were given some like stimulus money. And I'm not trying to get political here, but that's what it looks like. Some kind of card where you haven't um, like enabled it. And so I get that for somebody too, where it's like coming out of weird kind of sources like that. I just get like this money comes in, but it's not in a conventional way. That's what I hear. It's just not the most conventional, but my God, that's you, isn't it? 
I mean, if you're going to find somebody to think creatively and outside of the box, it's Aquarius. So be on the re receptive end of this. Be open to anything because, again, you have money coming in. And with sevens, it's victory, it's success. It's a wonderful number in the tarot. Now, I also feel like, too, if you've had difficulties in a relationship because of money, like your, your partner has been unemployed, it may be them, too, that's getting a new opportunity here that's going to alleviate a lot of stress. So the tower shows up. Oh God, the tower. It's, it's one of the, I feel like it's one of the most dreaded cards here, but you always have to take into account the cards around it. And the cards around this are about stability. They're about gains, money, power, creativity, and love. So wish fulfillment. So with the tower being here, I wouldn't be scared off. It really is though, with this, the darkness in the card is contrast. They're trying to tell you, especially with the star, it's so cool that they're together. You've paid the price of contrast, okay? You've already undergone it. And it's really, like I said, that breakdown for a breakthrough. It takes you down. It gets rid of all the crap you don't need. Everything that you have not really wanted gets removed. And I always say this is let go or be dragged. We don't want to try to resist this because you've already put it into motion. And I've seen people do this where they're having tower moments with jobs and they're begging and they're arguing and they're fighting against losing a job. And it's like, look, there's so many more jobs out there. And especially when we've gone through this period where there was such an abundance, if it's a job, again, you've got money coming in. So with this, there is freedom, really. It's a release and it really is that release of the of the ego. That's you let go of all the old patterns, what's keeping you stuck. And it opens up a wide platform for you to go off and have new opportunities. Speaking of which, you know, this also too, when we talk about um, the seven of pentacles, the pentacles that appear, are the creations from the garden of your mind, so is are the flowers here in the magician. And the red indicates your strong desire. The white is that search for honesty, integrity, and really being in a place of wholeness. So I, it's have you know bringing heaven to earth with this. You in this energy, great ideas are coming to you. The answers are here. There's no hidden agendas, and you can't be tricked in this. You're you're a, a master manifester. You are a co-creator with the universe, and I do feel like somebody's really coming into their own with understanding their own power. The universe is you. And so I also feel like with this, in terms of a relationship, you have all the, all the, the love is here, but the communication, the passion, the spark, the chemistry, all that stuff is all available to you. So especially too, if you're wanting to draw in love, I do feel like the tower, if you're not in a relationship, I mentioned there is somebody here that's overcoming a challenge. But those of you that are looking to draw in a new relationship, the tower and the star are instrumental in this because it breaks free of those old patterns and it draws in something new with this. Um, so with the King of Pentacles, you've got the Midas touch here. I'm telling you, if you've been looking for work or ways to make money, you're going to have more than one. I feel like it's going to keep you fairly busy, but this is about abundance and prosperity. So it's very important. Now, I also feel like for some of you, you may have somebody that you encounter here that's integral with that, where they're giving you direction. It feels like almost a boss who needs extra help outside of work or like side kinds of things. I keep getting that. And it might be your significant other too, where they're getting more opportunities to make money. But with this, you do feel very stable with money. It's definitely a secure feeling. And it's like you can see in the, as, as things unfold, this isn't going anywhere. You know, there's, if you've had lack, especially with that six of, of air there, six of swords, you're going to be in this place where the stability is here. He also is a master manifester. Kings are masters of the suit and pentacles are about the physical body. They're about manifesting and they're definitely about money. So I do feel like it's too, for somebody, if you've been waiting on something to sell, I get that too. The money comes in and it's, more lucrative than you realized. Even if it's some kind of a family, like antique or something like that, I do feel like you're going to be making gains, more money than what you thought was going to come in arrives. So with the page of pentacles here, pages are messengers. 
This one brings in long-term stability though. This is also being smart with money. Even though pages are developing um, energies, this one's much more mature and practical for, as far as a page would go. So again, I do feel like everything that you're doing too, you're, you still have this long-term kind of lens that you're looking through. You know, you're making wise decisions. You're doing the right thing. And especially, like I said, if you paid the price of contrast financially, you're not going to make the same mistake twice with this, especially all this yellow in the card. That's wonderful. It indicates that energy, that environment around you, that's going to yield more success. Now, in a relationship too, I do feel like you have somebody coming in who appreciates you. They, the, I hear the phrase taken for granted. If that was you in previous relationships, this person wants to invest and they want to take care of the relationship, even if it's one that's had some challenges. They're looking for a new start as well. So the star comes in with wish fulfillment, and it's such a great card because it has many different directions that you can take it in. Of course, it's self-care and making sure that you are in that place where you're, you're meditating, you're quieting your mind, but she's also known as the goddess of truth. So again, I do feel like you're surrounded by integrity and like people just wanting to do the right stuff. There's no, with the magician here too, there's no deceit in this reading at all. Um, but with this too, ask for what you want because it's a very positive card. It indicates that anything that you're in pursuit, you know, it's also pursuing you. What you want is also seeking you. And so it's definitely a time of new possibilities. So seek out that guidance. Um, it also, I, I want to say too, for some of you, this is connected to the month of July, okay? Um, with the Four of Pentacles here, I get that money thing again, of course, but the this is the miser. You've got the Midas touch and the miser. However, it's not because of lack as much as it's about using intelligent or intellect with money. The, the fours are like stability, the four legs of a table. So I mentioned before, some of you, you're doing long-term planning, and especially if you did have a challenge with money, you're not going to have it again. It's just showing in the cards that you're headed into a very abundant time. And so whatever you've been through, you learn that lesson. All right, what else does Aquarius need to know, please? Messages for Aquarius. Okay, advice for Aquarius. Romance, all right? I'm telling you too with this, it really is, you have a positive relationship reading here. So if romance is kind of fizzled out in a current relationship, it feels like it's on the comeback. You have forgiveness here too. And again, that can be in a new relationship, just letting go of those old patterns. Helpful people, that showed up quite a few times here in the tarot. Within the next few months, I say, and you've got a yes because you can have, do, or be anything. I love you, Aquarius, and I'll be back again soon.